a little backyard training in how to use the two minute star pipe. If you're in your backyard, you can still isolate your sky and your surroundings in as far as the bearings and the height of the bodies after you read them off the star finder. One way you can do it is by saying, okay, the North Star, you know where that is, maybe it's right there. So that would be north of you, zero, 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 and that would be south of you, that would be east of you, zero nine zero, this would be two seven zero west of you. And you can break those down into bearings. The fact that there's fifty seven of the brightest stars being shown on the star finder means that all you have to do is come close. The star that's the brightest in that area going to be the star you're looking for by name. So we can take and go around and get the bearings. North zero zero, zero nine zero, one eight zero, two seven zero. Now these are true bearings and that's what the star finder is. So we can break those down closer, fairly close, with a little practice. Then as far as the altitude, the same idea. Straight out in front of you is the horizon. You don't need a real horizon. You can even have houses around you. If you go over your head, it's zero, 090 zero altitude. That's the cross on the star finder. Zero nine zero. Zero four five. There's half of that. You can break that down to zero six five. You can break further from zero to thirty degrees, forty, forty five, fifty, sixty, seventy, up to ninety. So you can break the sky down fairly easy. You can actually use the compass if you want as far as the bearings. In this case, I use my house. My street runs almost north and south. It's actually set up 15 degrees to the left. There's less reading of zero, zero, zero. But the house is almost zero nine zero one eight zero 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 two seven zero so in a while or with a little practice you can take and find these super bright stars compared with the others you can isolate them and know what star you're looking at if I want to find a star let's say bearing to south of me, 180, I have to just point in this direction. If I want to go for a star at 35 degrees high, then I just go less than 45. And that brightest star in that area will be the star we're looking for. Now, if you use the star finder outside at night, use a red light, because the red light won't ruin your eyes for night vision. You'll be able to read the star finder, point to these areas, and isolate your stars with a little practice. Thank you.